Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to confirm and delete the data using a model with jQuery Ajax. So before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe, hit on the bell icon. Whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification on it. Also do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get into the video. So this was our output for the Ajax grunt. So here we have done view, edit and delete. This is a direct delete. So when I click, the data will be deleted and we'll be getting a refreshed data. Okay. So, but without a page reload. So now we'll create another button here, which is confirm and delete next to delete. Let's do that. So this was our code. Correct. So go to footer. So inside get function here, you can see you have this delete here copy paste once again and rename this to confirm delete confirm delete student data or something confirm delete now let's go reload this and check so here you can see here you have got one button which is confirm delete okay so now let's click on this no action is being performed so we have a class right here so what is our main motto is when we click on this button we should get one pop-up model so for that first we have to design the model let's go to index let's copy this edit model itself copy paste it here okay and let's rename this to delete model and here also let's tell delete student Okay, confirm and delete to indeed. So we have changed the ID, we have changed the label, and here we have error message. We don't require all this thing. Let's remove it till here. We need the footer, so don't remove the footer. So now here we have to create one. So before that, let's go check what is happening here. Let's give in an H1 tag. In an H4 tag, let's give Are you sure you want to delete this data? Save this and here let's give no and here we'll have Yes and here change this to Confirm delete. Okay, now let's go reload this and check. So I'm clicking on this data. Why no action is performed? This we didn't perform action for this button. So copy this button and here copy paste this student first. Delete student, which is already there. So here we have delete student. Let's copy, paste it below, paste it. First thing is that alignment. So take care of your alignments. Okay. If alignment is proper, your code looks clean. So let's tell here confirm delete. Let's scroll down, copy this confirm delete student and paste it here. Okay. Now we are just going to alert. We'll just comment all these things. Okay. So I've commented here. I'm just going to alert uh, and check if I'm getting that model. Hi model, I'll type. Okay. Now let's click that button and check if we are getting hi model in an alert. Click on this. I'm getting hi model. Okay. But here we want to get the other thing, right? Which was we need to show that a particular model okay so for that we'll just delete this for now and uh, uncomment this line of code uncomment this line of code okay and so here we should get that model so that we are going to call the model so the model we have id so use a hash and tell dot model of show 
add a semicolon and here we have to paste that name so here we have delete student copy this model go to footer and paste it so now let's go see if we are getting the model reload confirm delete so i am getting the model perfectly are you sure you want to delete this data if prompted yes then the data has to delete if no it will just get closed so here the next thing is that we can't directly delete because we need require an unique unique property of that particular user so we will be taking the id of course so for id to get the id what you have to do is inside index here we need an input tag so let's create an input tag and type make it as hidden and give a class tell form control and tell this as delete id okay so once you have to take this delete id you have named this as delete id now so copy this delete id and go to footer and tell here on top of model dollar paste the name of that id and tell dot val and pass this student id and give a semicolon so once after this i have got the model now if i click on s it has to delete so to perform for this let's go to model so the model is here so the name is confirm delete so let's copy this confirm delete student and go to footer okay here what we'll do is let's we have one function which is jq click so inside this selector paste your class name and here you have jq and let's alert and see uh, let me tell this as you clicked yes let's see what is the output reload once again confirm are you sure you want to delete this data click on s and it is giving me you click this okay now the main motto is that we have to get the id of that particular user to get the id what we have to do yes we have to get the id which is there here correct and this id is mainly coming from this input tag which we have created here delete id so copy this delete id and go back here let's comment this and here tell dollar of class right so paste that class and give dot val and store this inside a variable which is let me tell where delete id is equal to and let's alert this so let's cut the alert which is on top and paste it here uncomment this and copy this delete id variable and paste it inside alert let's see if we are getting id of that particular user when we are prompting s so click on confirm delete yes i am getting fourth user now let's try for third user yes i am getting three so this is the way you get the id so once you get the id it is the same as delete right so once you get the id you will have your jq ajax here copy the jq ajax which we have commented in here okay let's copy this ajax copy or you can cut the ajax from here and paste it here and uncomment comment this data here what happens is it will click on that delete button and delete the data this student id is what is the delete id so we have to change that so here instead of going to the previous thing we'll just give this uh, click confirm button here we'll change and we'll write the code once again so click confirm delete button true and this let's give this as delete id and the id which we have got just copy and paste it these are the response that we will be getting when the action that is performed in code.php let's copy this button name and go to code.php with the post method so we here we have already done the deletion part right so let's copy paste the code and once again go back to footer and copy this click delete button paste it here 
this stood id is going to be the where is it delete id so copy this delete id and paste it all the post of delete id let's make this also to delete id else you may get confused where is that code here so we have got and change here to delete id okay and here oh i have changing the student aid so i have changed the student edit part so now i think i have okay so let me close this it's actually confusing i have to give comment line for everything so let's change this to student delete id so i have changed it to delete id now when i click on that it will give me data deleted so let's go execute and check what is the output okay let's okay once after this we need to close the model and all so that is what is happening here and we are just refreshing it so everything remains the same uh, there is no much uh, difference here so if you have any confusion regarding this video you can just watch out the previous video so you will understand it much better so let's reload this page and click on confirm delete so when i click on no it is just hiding but the same thing when i click on yes it is telling data deleted successfully okay so i want this model to be hidden so when i click on yes i want this model also to be hidden okay so here let's give no and the data is deleted but let's hide that model first so here when i click on s itself i just want that model to be hidden the model is this delete student model you can just uh, check out with that so here when once after the success i'm just going to tell hide that model and then give me the message so let's execute once again reload click on confirm delete i am clicking on yes you can see that model went and then i am getting the data deleted success message yeah that's it in this video guys if you have not understood properly i think you have to watch the deletion part first okay so i hope this video was helpful if you have any doubt or suggestion please do let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video